When I was in high school, I had a job where I worked with kids, and I'd always enjoyed um, working with older kids. And I was looking for a way to volunteer and give back to the community because it was already my sophomore year, and I was like, I need to get going. So I spend my volunteer hours as a cooking teacher for kids in middle school. I find a recipe, and then I go grocery shopping, and I buy all the ingredients that we need. And then I go to the school, set up in the kitchen, and the kids come and they cook. And I just watch and make sure that everything goes along smoothly. It's not just about the volunteering, but I also think, hopefully, some of them see me as a role model, and maybe one day they'll come back and give their time to students. If everyone did something, then think of what we could do. My name is Amy, and every Monday, I teach a bunch of middle school kids how to cook. I also teach them how to be independent and accomplished. That's how I live united. Today, 120 women are storming Capitol Hill to advocate on behalf of United Way's work in education, income, and health. We're part of United Way's Women's Leadership Council. When I was little, my mother used to take me around to all of her community services and nonprofit work, and it didn't take that long for me to start doing the same thing. So I started on small scale, and now I've started to do things more citywide, statewide, and nationally. So it's very exciting to follow in her footsteps. Advocacy is extremely important for United Way. United Way wants our legislators, our country, to hear what are the issues that concern each and every one of our communities. It's your voice being heard. I'm Maria, and I'm making some noise on Capitol Hill today, and that's how I live united. I started giving money to the United Way because I wasn't as involved in the community as I wanted to be. When I was younger, I really did get involved. I had the time, I had the passion, and I volunteered a good bit. Good but now, I have a full-time job, and on top of that, I'm a full-time mom. So, I started giving through the campaign at the office. But to be honest, I never really knew if it was really making a difference. But then, one day, I was driving into work, and I saw one of those vans, those mobile mammogram clinics, the ones that do the free screenings. And as I walked across the parking lot, I saw on the side of the van a United Way sign. And I remember thinking, that's how I'm helping. I'm Wendy, and I do still have the passion. And sometime down the road, I'm gonna get back to volunteering. But for now, I'm gonna feel really good about giving. That's how I live united. Every day in this community, and in communities all across the country, people are creating opportunities for everyone by focusing on the building blocks of a good life. Education, income, and health. And they're doing it on their own terms, bringing together their own unique strengths and skills to advance the common good. By reaching out a hand to one, they're influencing the condition of all. That's what it means to live united, working together, solving problems, bringing about lasting change. And you too can live united. You can volunteer. You can be a champion for issues that need solutions in your community. And you can invest in your community by giving to United Way. However you give, you can inspire hope and create opportunities for a better tomorrow. That's what it means to live united.